cooked or baked on this channel for ages and I'm sure you guys missed me so much. You're about to cry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but honestly, I missed my channel so much. Um, but I'm back, hopefully this time for a very long time. And today I want to make this super easy, quick, I should say almost a vintage recipe of zebra sponge cake. It's easy to make, it's super delicious and it reminds me of childhood. I don't know where you guys grew up, but if you did grow up in Armenia, I'm sure your mom or grandma have made this dessert or uh, baked goods. Call it however you like, 400 times if not more. So what you need? Uh, of course, the full recipe will be on my blog at herine.com But for now, it's a half portion of the recipe because it's pretty large cake. I have two eggs, everything room temperature preferably. preferably. I have sugar, um, oil, yogurt, you can use sour cream, flour. And if you have a child who wants to eat some ice cream, you can have him sit on the chair on your kitchen, by your kitchen table. <laughs> Uh, baking powder, vanilla extract, a uh, tiny bit of salt, cocoa powder and if you like to enhance the chocolate flavor you can also use some espresso powder. It's just an extra ingredient, it's optional, you don't have to use it. So what we do, combine eggs and sugar and beat it until it's nice and fluffy and we'll go from there. I'm adding my oil, yogurt and one minute mix just to incorporate. It was one second mix. And dry ingredients. I have some flour to which I'm adding a pinch of salt, maybe two pinches of salt. Oh, I forgot the vanilla extract. It's a must ingredient. You should, you should remember it without my reminder. Just a little bit. And what else? And baking powder, a good teaspoonful of baking powder. And I'll give it a quick mix. Okay. Add to my wet ingredients and the mixture is basically ready. Into portions. This is a zebra and you know, zebra has two colors, black and white, but this zebra is slightly different, it's going to have black and brown colors. I'm dividing the dough into uh, two equal portions, one will be white color, the other one will be chocolate color. This is more of a chocolate zebra. Mm -hmm. I'm eyeballing it, feel free to do the same. This will be the white part. And into this one I'm adding two teaspoonful of uh, cocoa powder and one teaspoonful of espresso powder. And it's a good idea to strain it. But if you don't like good ideas, don't strain it. Just a little bit of this powder espresso. Like so. And I said already this is an optional ingredient. And since this is um, more of a Cocoa powder can um, slightly thicken the dough, the butter. We're adding about one tablespoon of milk. Hmm, I haven't been doing anything on this channel and it affected my um, abilities. <laughs> I'll be good in a while. It's milk. I'm gonna eyeball a tablespoon or so. Mm -hmm. And give it a quick mix. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? Both of our mixtures are ready. Lightly or heavily grease your baking pan. This is 9 inch mm, baking pan. And you're gonna grab two tablespoons and periodically one vanilla mixture and the other uh, chocolate mixture all together, not all together, one after uh, another until the entire dough is gone gone into your baking pan just like so one over the other, let's say Chocolate mixture turned out to be a little bit more and that's fine. That's not a problem. We're gonna bake this about 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Or you can simply check with the toothpick and see if it comes out clean or dry. It means it's ready. So I'll see you when it's done baking. later I checked it with I mean I checked it after 35 minutes it wasn't ready as soon as you see the toothpick comes out nice and dry it means it's ready and it also cracked nicely but I'm gonna let this cool down about 25 30 minutes and then we'll have a slice mm -hmm, looks perfect done with the pictures and yes we uh, couldn't wait and try the slice we had no choice so it was really delicious this is half of the slice it's so good especially it's really delicious with sour cream or creme fraiche or just as is you can even spray some uh, not spray uh, drizzle chocolate glaze over it or sugar glaze or just uh, powdered sugar anything you prefer but try the recipe let me know how you liked it and just wanted to let you know original recipe I got from my friend's YouTube channel Nar Sweet Art those who speak Armenian I would highly recommend to check out her channel she has some amazing unique and original recipes so yeah this was it Recipe will be down below this video and on my blog at Helena.com. Check it out. Hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.